The election begins today in Wilmington, Delaware, in the federal gun trial against President Biden's son, Hunter. Hunter Biden was indicted on three felony charges related to his purchase of a gun in 2018. Naomi Ruckham looks at what we can expect next. In a rare moment in American history, the son of a sitting U.S. president will face a jury of his peers in a Delaware courtroom. The federal case against Hunter Biden comes just months before his father, President Joe Biden, runs for re-election. Here you have the son of the sitting president of the United States of America going to trial at the hands of his own Justice Department. Over the weekend, Hunter Biden and his father stayed close, riding their bikes and attending church together. The trial stems from three felony charges related to the younger Biden's unlawful purchase and possession of a revolver during a time when he was addicted to drugs. Experts say much of the case will focus on the definition of the word addict. Whether he believed he was an addict, whether he was in fact addicted when he checked the box on the form saying that he wasn't addicted. Prosecutors are expected to pull from Hunter Biden's own 2021 memoir and call witnesses, including his ex-wife and his brother's widow, Hallie Biden, who Hunter had a romantic relationship with after his brother's death. This trial begins during a bizarre time in American politics, just days after former President Donald Trump was convicted on all 34 counts in a so-called hush money case in New York making the courtroom a central meeting ground for voters on both sides of the aisle. Naomi Ruckham, CBS News. Now we've convicted Hunter Biden could face up to 25 years in prison. Today, jurors will be asked questions, including their views on the 2024 election and if someone addicted to drugs should or should not be charged with a crime.